Hi, this is David McCam for WebTNG. In this video, I'm looking at two new features that are coming to Advanced Custom Fields version 6.2. These features are built-in bidirectional relationship fields and built-in option pages. So bidirectional relationship fields have been available in ACF for a long time. However, in order to use them, you would need to manually add a code snippet this code here. And relationship fields, by the way, are a feature of ACF free. The second one, option pages, this is a pro only feature, but it's the same situation. It's a feature or capability you've had for a long time, but in order to enable it, you would need to add a code snippet. This is the simple version, and this is the advanced version with more customization options. So now let's go take a look at a testing site I have here. Let's go to the dashboard. I've got two custom post types, audiobooks and book authors. If we go and look at a record, you'll see that there's a relationship field here where I've picked in the book custom post type a book author. Okay, and it shows up here. The same way if we go to the book authors, we look at Grisham and we go down and we see here is that book, Kamina Island. Okay, and the way I've enabled this at this point is I have WP Codebox installed and I have that bi-directional code snippet from the ACF website enabled, and that's the way that it's working. You know, one question that I had now that this is a feature built into ACF is, is it safe for me to disable and remove this code snippet? Am I gonna lose any data if I do that? So I'm going to disable this code snippet in fact, I'm going to go to the plugins and even just deactivate WP Codebox because I don't need it anymore. You see, I've got the beta version of Pro enabled now. I also have the beta version of 6.2 free just because I was testing it to see what the differences were. If we go now and look at the audiobooks, let's go to Camino Island. Okay, so now if I remove John Grisham here, and save and we go now to book authors and edit notice that it wasn't removed here because we don't have a bi-directional relationship okay i'm going to go ahead and just remove it manually here and now this is the new thing that they've added if we go into the field groups let's start with the author fields and i have the relationship field here called book author relationship I have the same field on the book fields. Let's go edit and see it's a relationship. If we go now to advanced, this is what's new. They've added this toggle here. And when you turn it on, then you select the target field. So this is book author in authors, but I'm gonna select the book author relationship in the book fields. Okay, and save. Now I'm going to go to the book fields and do the same thing. Okay, and go to advanced, turn on bidirectional, and now I'm going to select the relationship field in the authors field group. Let's save. Okay, now if I go to audiobooks, Camino Island, we see there's no author selected. I'm going to select John Grisham and update. And now let's go to the authors, select John Grisham, and we see Camino Island has been added back in the list of books that he's the author of. Okay, so it was safe to remove that relationship field and it works as I expected it would. All right, so this is a nice convenience. We no longer need to add that code snippet. We can do it all within the ACF UI. And again, this is a feature of the free version of ACF. Now let's go back to ACF. 
Remember, this is Pro, and in Pro, we have this Option Pages menu item now. Okay, so this is what's new in the Pro version. If we click on Option Pages, you see we now have a UI to add an option page. So I'll call it Store Hours. And you can set up a parent if you had other option pages. I'm going to go to Advanced Configuration just so we can see what these options are. Okay, I'll go dash icons. Since this is hours, store hours, I'll find clock. Okay, and let's copy that and go back, put that in. Okay, and so we'll say store hours, menu position, let's say 25, which will put it up in here. And we don't need to do any redirects and We'll just put, you know, site store hours. Labels, we don't need to go and change any of those. And permissions, this is something that you may want to edit. Currently, it's available for people who can edit posts, but you can change the permissions there. Okay, and then there's this data storage option. And by default, it's going to save this in the WordPress options table. Okay, but if you want to, you can set it to custom storage. And if you do that, then it'll save it in a field in a post or page. Okay, something like that. So, but let's just go with the default here. Okay, now if I save, see we have our store hours here now. If we go there, there are no field groups. There's no fields. Okay, so we can go to our field groups. We can add a new one saying hours of operation. And then we could add a, let's say a repeater. Since this is pro only feature, you might as well use the uh, repeater. And oops. Okay, and then we add our field. So our first field will be text, and this will be day of the week. And we'll have a default value, and our second one will be text also, and this will be called the hours. Okay, so we'll save these changes. And let's open this, and our rule is show this field group is equal to options page store hours okay so we'll save now we'll go to store hours we can add our values okay you get the idea there and the nice thing about using option pages is that the values are available site-wide. They're not just available for a post or a custom post type. Okay, so that's a nice feature if you want site-wide variables. And you might have your store hours, for instance, on the home page, but also on the About Us page or the Contact Us page, things like that. All right, so I just think it's really nice that the ACF team has been iterating on the product and adding features. This is nice convenience to have these features built into the UI instead of needing to use a code snippet for them. So I do have a text summary of the video available on the WebTNG website. So if you like the video and learned something, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching.